Hey air signs, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your mudra reading. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yeah. Thank you. Empty information. I pray that y'all are holding up well out here. Okay. I did my pre-game mudra re uh, conversation on Instagram. Follow us at, at the House of Oshun on Instagram. Uh, I was running my mouth, so I'm not going to do it over here. Okay? Because, you know, certain things you can't say over here. <laughs> Angels, what do you have for the air signs? We're going to go and jump up in this. <laughs> Oh, air signs. I think that a lot of people may have been asking you for help. Um, a lot of people will be asking you for assistance. A lot of people will be, there's a lot of communicating going on here. Okay. Uh, you have the freedom. Mudra. That'd be good. You have the freedom mudra, right? So, um, there will be a need for you to bring in that, um, whatever energy this is what I feel. What all of the air energy in your chart is coming together. So there's going to be a need for you to balance those energies. There's going to be a need for you to um, help other people balance similar energies. Thank you. Um, I also feel that when it comes to working on projects or working on uh, whatever it is that has your attention at this time, whenever you watch this, moving on forward, uh, there's a need, there's a coming together of sorts. There's there's strength in numbers, so there's a coming together of sorts here. Um, there's a lot of uh, soulmate energy. There's a lot of connecting with. I don't like that. I like how I did that right there. There's some coming together. There's some energy of um, connecting with the right people and keeping these connections that are being made at this time are going to have longevity um, on, on every, um, in every aspect of that, right? Whether it's a friendship, relationship, whatever ship is sailing in. Okay. I also feel there's going to be a lot of people um, around you who are going to let you be who you are. It's like the freedom to be who you are and how you are. Um, excuse me. That's why I do the pregame chats to clear out my throat chakra, but okay. Move forward. Maybe my third eye is draining again. This is the freedom to do what it is that you want to and just free to the freedom to be yourself, but also balancing that energy as well. Um, that's why these connections that are coming in are very important for you. Um, this is a shift in your energy, a shift in the way that you do things, a shift in your approach, as well as a shift in your perspective. Okay. Um, I also feel that you're going to be um, connecting or you are connected to a very stable in individual. It's on you to use your discernment on who the hell I'm talking about. Okay. Don't make it up in your mind or sign. Thank you. Now then, the card that fell out is the Six of Cups. I feel that, again, that's that soulmate energy, right? So there's a um, an energy of um, connecting with your past. Um, this could be childhood friends or just being in the moment of remembering. That's what it is. That's what it is, bitch. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my water? In the spirit of remembrance, uh, uh, connecting to your some childhood uh, memories, that um, bringing in that um, I feel like inertia. Okay, don't ask me to define the word. Y'all know the business, but I feel. Let me get out the camera. I feel that there is some strong connection uh, here where uh, to your past, to your childhood, to um, 
whatever your childhood may be, because your childhood could easily be your college years. Um, but it's a younger you that you are connecting to that is giving, bringing you balance. Some of you are balancing out the energies. Um, you've done a past life, present power, uh, a stabilization, and you are about to see things from a different perspective now that you have ascended to that point. Now that you have come to that point in your, let me get, I be getting comfortable. <laughs> Now that you've come to that point where you are ready for the next level, there's a lot of um, twists and turns that you may have gone through to get to this point where you are. So now things are more clear. Um, you are stepping fully into who you are. I really like this. Because fuck what people say about you. You got to be you. Hmm? That's why I support the LGBTQ community. All you got to do is just be you. You don't need permission to be you. You don't have to sh sh put up a big front about why it's right to be you. You don't need to do that. Do you. I'm the example. Wish I would go back to trying to be something that people thought I should be and how I should be. That's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to try and fit in. It's uncomfortable to hold yourself back, hold back the work that you came here to do to satisfy other people and their thoughts and what they, they ain't holding back. They being the assholes. Now, now, if you are connecting with someone from your past, um, I feel like this person is going to uh, be a catalyst in your life. I feel like this person is going to bring some type of harmony and contentment into your life that lets you understand. And it, it's like you needed someone to come into your life to accept you as you are. Whether they are here um, in, a, in a space where they, they, they're here for the long run, this is longevity, but I also feel that it depends on what part they are playing in your life and how they are playing it. Clarify this six of cups. Still soulmate energy. Soulmate can be anything. I'm looking for another furry soulmate. It's going to take me some time. But I can't wait. Because my last soulmate furry, baby, fur baby, hmm, been a while. Get out my business, baby. <laughs> Clarify this six of uh, cups or the earth signs. Told your ass. A relationship is going to the new level, the next level. Uh, it may move faster than what you thought. Hmm? Um, with this two of cups, I feel as though you are pulling in. Let's look at these two ways. I have two ways that we're about to look in this. The one way is that you are um, stabilizing your masculine and uh, feminine energies. Not going to say feminine. Feminine. That is not a word. I'm going to add it to the Lulu dictionary. Now, you are stabilizing your masculine and feminine. What the fuck is feminine? Your masculine and feminine energy here with this past life present power coming in, you're beginning to realize how productive and how you can do things moving forward. It's all coming together for you, but now there's this stabilizing force that is coming in as well, so it may take you some time. The other way that I'm saying this is that when it comes to a relationship, are you connecting to a soulmate energy? Is that things are leveling up, things are moving to the next level between you and someone to the point where now you are seeing eye to eye. There is a meeting of the minds. What is this? This may meet of the minds. It's a meeting of the minds, even though it don't look like that. Oh, this is where I got the connecting with someone that's going to be longevity. The way those uh, thumbs are connected. Hmm? Can't raise my arms. I got on regular deodorant today. Now, if you are connecting to someone and someone does want to take it to the next level, they've asked you to be exclusive. They've asked that, um, you know, they, they only want you and no one but you. That commitment that is coming in is maybe someone from your past or someone from a past life. You will know. Some people feel like home. Not, don't ring the bell. Okay, ring it. Sometimes people can feel like home when they're saying and doing some of the right things. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is people without words, it feels like home. And then there are certain things 
that line up outside of that with time not putting your all into someone thinking that that's what don't get me started so this person feels like home they've told you something to the effect of uh it's in the eye look in the eyes our sign it's something to the effect that they've told you or said something to you where you know that they see you there's another difference i'm not ringing this bell there's too many rings uh, they see you there's a difference when a person not my stage you bitch you just you know it's real move forward now with this two of cups i also feel that um someone may be rushing in from your past to bring balance into your life things may have been chaotic Things may have been off center for you. And they are bringing in this help. So it may not even just be that type of shift. Whatever type of shift this relates to. Because they sell me. Watch um, Ash Luna. She had already talked about it. But now it's right here. She said what June was doing. Happy birthday to the Geminis. <laughs> Boom boy. Oh, let's look at this card. Ooh, I told you, bitch. Look at this. This look like a heart. Look at it closely. Doesn't that look like a heart? Hmm? Communication. Being able to communicate from the heart. Being able to um, resolve issues of the heart from the childhood. It's coming up. You already been working on it. We're not going to get into the spiritual ways that you can work on it because it can go deep. But you've been working on it. Now you see it for what it is and how things can uh, change. How you can change things when it comes to matters of the heart. I feel as though there's a lot of light being shed on things that have happened in your past. Now you are realizing um, how you can possibly forgive some things that happened at childhood in order for you to move forward. Especially for those of you who are manifesting love. Hmm? Hmm. If you want an Instagram pregame chat, you know that this was going to be dramatic. Now, let's go back to our dramatics. Now. trying to get somewhere you've been trying to get somewhere and and, and, and and you just felt like you needed help but you you, you were reaching out to people and the help was uh, not coming in as you thought it should or how it would or who you thought it should come from hmm? I'm going to tell you how I got there it's going to trip your ass hold on trying to get help reaching out reaching out to everyone, different people, for help. I like it. So here's the thing. A little fear comes with this connection here. A little fear comes with um, you being able to be as open as you have uh, would, would have liked to be with the help that you were trying to hitchhike a ride with. Hitchhike. Y'all been trying to hitchhike a ride and thinking that certain people are going to stop and help you when they are not the ones who were divinely connected to do so. They are not the ones who were presented as a catalyst. They are not the ones who were presented as help. See? You're trying to force your help. Let me tell you where I got that from. See this thumb? This one at the bottom pole. See? See how, how it's bent? Afraid of this help that's coming through afraid of this connection that's coming through fear what does fear mean to you moving forward get back to it because i need to pull these surrender cards and roll up out of here fear if it's someone coming from your past it may be that um there was some things said that caused some type of emotional chaos or unpredictability. You're unsure of this situation, this connection, or how this can possibly go in the future. Five of Swords. Fear. That's a fear. 
A five is a fear of change. A five is, um, well, this is how we look at it in this reading. Calm down. The fear of change, the unpredictable, chaos when it comes to strategy. Is this person trying to do this and do that? Is this person the same way that they used to be? Is this person the same energy that has betrayed me in the past? Hold on. Clarify this five of swords for the air sign so I can move the fuck forward. Maybe a fire sign or someone who is well to do. Um, but they're saying here that the courage and clarity is within you, not on you. You cannot find the courage or clarity that you need to uh, maneuver in this situation here. But it may be a fire sign that you feel is condescending. Ask questions. You know, I'm a firm believer in um, allowing people to be where they at. Hmm? Um, I'm a firm believer here and um, try not to take things to heart in that space unless you act it up on Instagram like I have was earlier. I had to apologize for something because it went somewhere else. <laughs> but in this reading, there's a strong energy of um, not backing down. There's a strong energy um, when it comes to whatever it is that you are going through to know that um, you can uh, maneuver within the situation to um, get justice and fairness. There's a strong, uh, we got the king of wands. There's a strong energy in um, whoever this is that is coming in. Like again, I said, it's going to be a catalyst. It's someone who is going to be around for the long haul. Um, even if they, if you feel that in a month or two it's over and it's off, what you learn from them, how you learn from them, changes your perspective, shifts your energy. You will not be who you were. Freedom. This is openness, balance, and metabolism. It benefit, the benefits are that it directs breath and awareness to neck and throat area communication. How you're communicating different earth signs. I, I like how that's going dark and stuff like that. It's like we got a production team doing stuff. Now then, um, aligns the cervical spine, okay? Balance. It is important that you remember that your posture, how you carry yourself, outwardly has a lot to do with the reflection of inward how are you carrying yourself energetically move forward this releases tension from the neck and the jaw easing the passageway of communication so you won't be all stiff in your communication with this person that is coming back relax the fuck it helps to balance energy and metabolism now You'll hold your hands like this, bring the mudra up to the throat center, relax shoulders down, align the spine. Your affirmation is, I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. I'm really here for it. I'm a firm believer in expressing yourself. Harm none. Do you. Hmm? Everybody's not going to agree with you. But that's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for who don't agree with you. Hmm? Angels, what information do you have for the air sign? The card popped out. Surrender comparisons with other people. You are an individual. Freedom of expression. That card popped out, bitch. You got the right to dress like this. I can't wait. I bet not get a headpiece. Y'all already know what's going down. It gotta be the right headpiece. I need a wand, the headpiece, the crown. It's the slow pro it's a, it's slow, but I'm gonna get to it. Cause when I get it, I'm acting a fool. But you got the freedom to be whoever the fuck you want to be. With this surrender to comparisons with other people, they say that you need to keep your tr eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your strength, attractiveness, and power. You're the best you that could have ever done it. Hmm? 
no matter what you're doing that somebody may have already done, I don't want to do this because everybody's doing this and blah, 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 blah. You the only you that's going to do your part. Calm down, Lulu, because you don't need this drama right now. All right, I'm out. Tonight we are doing the uh, Ask a Scorpio because the new thing that we are doing on Instagram is Ask a Sign. The last sign we did was Ask a Capricorn, and that got interesting. So now, because I'm not an astrologist, I let the signs speak for themselves. So regular people, real people dealing with real people are asking the individual signs what the fuck. And I'm letting the signs speak for itself. It's quite humorous. Make sure that you follow the House of Oshun TV on the other side. And I'm finna go. Oh, if you purchased the oil this last round, I have a surprise for you. You will receive it in your email.